Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. GIF. The graphics interchange format is a bitmap image format that was developed by US based software writer Steve Wilhite while working at the bulletin board service provider CompuServe on June 15, 1987, and has since come into widespread usage on the World Wide Web due to its wide support and portability. The format supports up to 8 bits per pixel for each image, allowing a single image to reference its own palette of up to 256 different colors chosen from the 24-bit RGB color space. It also supports animations and allows a separate palette of up to 256 colors for each frame. These palette limitations make the GIF format less suitable for reproducing color photographs and other images with continuous color, but it is well suited for simpler images such as graphics or logos with solid areas of color. GIF images are compressed using the Lempels of Welch lossless data compression technique to reduce the file size without degrading the visual quality. This compression technique was patented in 1985. Controversy Over the licensing agreement between the software patent holder, Unisys, and CompuServe in 1994 spurred the development of the portable network graphics standard. By 2004 all the relevant patents had expired. History CompuServe introduced the GIF format on June 15, 1987 to provide a color image format for their file downloading areas, replacing their earlier run-length encoding format, which was black and white only. GIF became popular because it used LZW data compression, which was more efficient than the run-length encoding that formats such as PCX and Mac Paint used and fairly large images could therefore be downloaded in a reasonably short time, even with very slow modems. The original version of the GIF format was called 87A. In 1989, CompuServe released an enhanced version, called 89A, which added support for animation delays, transparent background colors, and storage of application-specific metadata. The 89A specification also supports incorporating text labels as text. But as there is little control over display fonts, this feature is not widely used. The two versions can be distinguished by looking at the first six bytes of the file, which, when interpreted as ASCII, read GIF 87A and GIF 89A, respectively. CompuServe encouraged the adoption of GIF by providing downloadable conversion utilities for many computers. By December 1987, for example, an Apple IIGS user could view pictures created on an Atari Street to Commodore 64. GIF was one of the first two image formats commonly used on websites, the other being the black and white XBM. In September 1995 Netscape Navigator 2.0 added the ability for animated GIFs to loop. The feature of storing multiple images in one file, accompanied by control data, is used extensively on the web to produce simple animations. The optional interlacing feature, which stores image scan lines out of order in such a fashion that even a partially downloaded image was somewhat recognizable, also helped GIF's popularity, as a user could abort the download if it was not what was required. In May 2015 Facebook added GIF support, even though they originally didn't support them on their site. Linguistic Characteristics As a noun, the word GIF is found in the newer editions of many dictionaries. In 2012, the American wing of the Oxford University Press recognized GIF as a verb as well, meaning to create a GIF file, as in, GIFing was perfect medium for sharing scenes. From the Summer Olympics, the press lexicographers voted at the word of the year.
saying that gifts have evolved into a tool with serious applications including research and journalism. Pronunciation of GIF The creators of the format pronounced the word as J-I-F with a soft G, as in Jin. Steve Wilhite says that the intended pronunciation deliberately echoes the American peanut butter brand JIF, and CompuServe employees would often say, choosy developers choose GIF, spoofing this brand's television commercials. The word is now also widely pronounced with a hard G, as in, gift. The American Heritage Dictionary cites both, indicating, JIF, as the primary pronunciation, while Cambridge Dictionary of American English offers only the hard G pronunciation. Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary and the OED cite both pronunciations, but place GIF in the default position. The New Oxford American Dictionary gave only JIF in its second edition, but updated it to JIF GIF in its third edition. The disagreement over the pronunciation led to heated internet debate. On the occasion of receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2013 Webby Award Ceremony, Will Hite rejected the hard G pronunciation, and his speech led to 17,000 posts on Twitter and 50 news articles. The White House and TV program Jeopardy! also waded into the debate during 2013. Palettes GIF is palette-based, the colors used in an image in the file have their RGB values defined in a palette table that can hold up to 256 entries, and the data for the image refer to the colors by their indices in the palette table. The color definitions in the palette can be drawn from a color space of millions of shades, but the maximum number of colors a frame can use is 256. This limitation seemed reasonable when GIF was developed because few people could afford the hardware to display more colors simultaneously. Simple graphics, line drawings, cartoons, and grayscale photographs typically need fewer than 256 colors. Each frame can designate one index as a transparent background color. Any pixel assigned this index takes on the color of the pixel in the same position from the background, which may have been determined by a previous frame of animation. Many techniques, collectively called dithering, have been developed to approximate a wider range of colors with a small color palette by using pixels of two or more colors to approximate in between colors. These techniques sacrifice spatial resolution to approximate deeper color resolution. While not part of the GIF specification, dithering can of course be used in images subsequently encoded as GIF images. This is often not an ideal solution for GIF images, both because the loss of spatial resolution typically makes an image look fuzzy on the screen, and because the dithering patterns often interfere with the compressibility of the image data. Working against GIF's main purpose, in the early days of graphical web browsers, graphics cards with 8-bit buffers were common and it was fairly common to make GIF images using the WebSafe palette. This ensured predictable display but severely limited the choice of colors. When 24-bit color became the norm, palettes could instead be populated with the optimum colors for individual images. A small color table may suffice for small images, and keeping the color table small allows the file to be downloaded faster. Both the 87A and 89A specifications allow color tables of 2N colors for any N from 1 through 8. Most graphics applications will read and display GIF images with any of these table sizes, but some do not support all sizes when creating images. Tables of 2, 16, and 256 colors are widely supported.
Animated GIF Basic animation was added to the GIF 89A spec via the graphics control extension, which allows various images in the file to be painted with time delays, forming a video clip. An animated GIF file comprises a number of frames that are displayed in succession, each introduced by its own GCE, which gives the time delay to wait after the frame is drawn. Global information at the start of the file applies by default to all frames. The data is stream-oriented, so the file offset of the start of each GCE depends on the length of preceding data. Within each frame the LZW-coded image data is arranged in sub-blocks of up to 255 bytes. The size of each sub-block is declared by the byte that precedes it. By default, however, an animation displays the sequence of frames only once, stopping when the last frame is displayed. Since GIF is designed to allow users to define new blocks, Netscape in the 1990s used the application extension block to implement the Netscape application block. This block, placed immediately before all the animation frames, specifies the number of times the sequence of frames should be played. Support for these repeating animations first appeared in Netscape Navigator version 2.0 and then spread to other browsers. Most browsers now recognize and support NAB, though it is not strictly part of the GIF 89A specification. The following example shows the structure of the animation file rotating earth.gif shown. At the top of the article, byte hash hexadecimal text, or value meaning 047494638 gif 89a header. Logical screen descriptor 6 to 9001, 400 width in pixels 8. 9001, 400 height in pixels A, F7 GCT follows. For 256 colors, with resolution 3 by 8 bits, primary B, 000 background color C, 00. Default pixel aspect ratio D, global color table. 30D, 21FF application extension block 30F, 0B1111. Bytes of data follow 310 to 4E45554534341501. Netscape 8 character. Application name 32 to E32.0 application. Authentication code 31B0333. More bytes of data 31C011 data. Subblock index 31D, FFFF 65535 unsigned number of repetitions 31F00. End of app extension block 320 to 21F9 graphic control extension. For frame 322.04.44 bytes of data follow 323.08. Bit fields 3x, 3, 1 to 1000, 010, 0, 0 greater than restore. To be G color 324, 09, 000.09 sec delay before painting next frame 326. 00 no transparent color 327, 00 end of GCE block. 328 to 2 C image descriptor 329 00 NW corner of frame at 0 0 32 D 901 frame width and height 400 by 400331 no local color table no interlace 332.088, LZW min code size 333, FF 255255. Bytes of LZW encoded image data follow 334, data 433, FF 255. 
255 bytes of LZW encoded image data follow data 92BA 00 end of LZW data for this frame 92BB 21F9 graphic control extension for frame 153B7B 21F9 graphic control extension for frame 415CF35 3B file terminator the animation delay for each frame is specified in the GCE in hundredths of a second some economy of data is possible where a frame need only rewrite a portion of the pixels of the display because the image descriptor can define a smaller rectangle to be rescanned instead of the whole image browsers or other displays that do not support animated GIFs typically show only the first frame. The size and color quality of animated GIF files can vary significantly depending on the application used. To create them, strategies for minimizing file size include using a common global color table for all frames and minimizing the number of pixels covered in successive frames. Simply packing a series of independent frame images into a composite animation tends to yield large file sizes. Internet Explorer slows down GIFs if the frame rate is 20 frames per second or higher. And Microsoft reports that Google Chrome and Safari also slow down some GIF animations. Starting in early 1995, the University of Ulm used animated GIF as live video streaming format to show a controllable model railroad. Unisys and LZW Patent Enforcement In 1977 and 1978, Jacob Ziv and Abraham Lempel published a pair of papers on a new class of lossless data compression. Algorithms, now collectively referred to as LZ77 and LZ78. In 1983, Terry Welch developed a fast variant of LZ78 which was named Lempels of Welch. Welch filed a patent application for the LZW method in June 1983. The resulting patent, granted in December 1985, was assigned to Sperry Corporation who subsequently merged with Burroughs Corporation in 1986 and formed Unisys. Further patents were obtained in the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, Japan and Canada. In June 1984, an article by Welch was published in the IEEE magazine which publicly described the LZW technique. For the first time, LZW became a popular data compression technique and, when the patent was granted, Unisys entered into licensing agreements with over a hundred companies. The popularity of LZW led CompuServe to choose it as the compression technique for their GIF format, developed in 1987. At the time, CompuServe was not aware of the patent. Unisys became aware that the GIF format used the LZW compression technique and entered into licensing negotiations with CompuServe in January 1993. The subsequent agreement was announced on 24 December 1994. Unisys stated that they expected all major commercial online information services companies employing the LZW patent to license the technology from Unisys at a reasonable rate, but that they would not require licensing or fees to be paid for non-commercial, non-profit GIF-based applications, including those for use on the online services. Following this announcement, there was widespread condemnation of CompuServe and Unisys, and many software developers threatened to stop using the GIF format. The PNG format was developed in 1995 as an intended replacement. However, obtaining support from the makers of web browsers and other software for the PNG format proved difficult and it was not possible to replace the GIF format. 
Although PNG has gradually increased in popularity, therefore, GIF variations without LZW compression were developed. For instance, the Libun GIF library, based on Eric S. Raymond's GIFLib, allows creation of GIFs that followed the data format, but avoided the compression features, thus avoiding use of the Unisys LZW patent. A 2001 Dr. Dobbs article described another alternative to LZW compression, based on square roots. In August 1999, Unisys changed the details of the licensing practice, announcing the option for owners of certain non-commercial and private websites to obtain licenses on payment of a one-time license fee of $5,000 or $7,500. Such licenses were not required for website owners or other GIF users who had used licensed software to generate GIFs. Nevertheless, Unisys was subjected to thousands of online attacks and abusive emails from users believing that they were going to be charged $5,000 a sued for using GIFs on their websites. Despite giving free licenses to hundreds of non-profit organizations, schools and governments, Unisys was completely unable to generate any good publicity and continued to be condemned by individuals and organizations such as the League for Programming Freedom who started the Burn All GIFs campaign in 1999. The United States LZW patent expired on 20 June 2003. The counterpart patents in the United Kingdom, France, Germany and Italy expired on 18 June 2004. The Japanese patents expired on 20 June 2004, and the Canadian patent expired on 7 July 2004. Consequently, while Unisys has further patents and patent applications relating to improvements to the LZW technique, the GIF format may now be used freely. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.